There's a lot of bullying that goes on in schools and at recess. I mean, the University of California just did a report that 46% of children who have autism have experienced bullying. So we wanted to combat that. And we, we even looked into it further. We found out the number is a lot higher. The Interactive Autism Network reported the number is actually around 63%. So we said, why can't we hit it at the root cause? So why can't we find out at what age can we teach children to be accepting of everyone? A kid was playing t-ball and parents and other teammates were calling for uh, the, the coach to skip his turn at bat. We're talking about t-ball, 10, 11 year old kids. That's not the point of the game, right? It's not. And coaches today are unintentionally callous. Kids are way too competitive. And that's the root of it. That's where we wanted to start SNAP. It's special Needs Athletic Programs. It's a nonprofit in Morristown, New Jersey. Uh, we started it back in 2009 um, when a close family friend was diagnosed with autism. It started with athletics. We saw that our family friend really wasn't being included uh, when it came to uh, recreational leagues or even just in school at lunch and at recess. And we knew that we can provide not only him but his friends with a team, an opportunity to be a part of something. And it quickly grew and uh, what started as just sports clinics grew into an educational uh, platform as well. It was the family friend that you do everything with family vacations, uh, family dinners, holidays. I was always big with sports, so was my brother. And seeing someone that we know not being included, or seeing other kids unintentionally callous when it comes to sports, we knew that we could do something, and we did. And we saw such a tremendous impact in this kid's life, and that's, that's kind of where it, it started, and it's only grown from there, from two to three kids, up to 10, 11 kids, and then all of a sudden we had wait lists, and we had to expand into Morris Plains, and, and Warren, and Lodi, and throughout New Jersey. Now it's in six other states. So in 2010, we saw that there was definitely a need to make an educational initiative, uh, and that's where we kind of branched not only to include sports, but we branched away to include education. And we found that the volunteers at our clinics were learning so much that we wanted to implement that uh, at a greater level and to have every third to fifth grader throughout Morris School District in New Jersey have these trainings. So we created these hands-on uh, modules with the help of teachers and parents and educators. We created what's now the SNAP sensitivity trainings. So what these kids do is they experience what it's like to have a disability. Uh, we teach them empathy over sympathy. They use uh, mirrors and balance balls and other techniques to feel what it's like. And at the end of the day, they know what it's like to be bullied, so they're not going to bully themselves. Uh, so for example, uh, through the use of a mirror uh, and a maze and a piece of paper, we are able to simulate what it's like to have dyslexia. So students will look into the mirror and try and write their name. It's extremely frustrating and our mentors, um, who are now students who have done the training previously, plus a gym teacher or myself, will add to the frustration. We'll ask them, what's taking so long? Or why can't you write your name? Or can you imagine doing a standardized test like this? And the kids get very frustrated. Other examples are we do balance techniques. Uh, we have students try and play a simple game of catch while standing on a dyna disc or a balance board. They see how hard it is to do an everyday activity that most of them take for granted. And it's amazing to see these kids have trouble with that. After they do these trainings, they're, they're less likely to actually bully other kids or to tease other kids who are having trouble.